been a while since I planned to do this taste test. Uh, originally, I was looking to do it around April time, but due to time restraints, it's now the 20th of June. I've been a bit of a silly boy as well. Um, I'm down to my last bottle of the London style IPA that I brewed. If this goes wrong, I've messed up big style. But let's see how I get along. It's now the 20th of the 617, and this is the last bottle of my London style IPA. Now, I used a brew packs kit for this. It was a brew packs London bitter. I made a few adjustments. I added some honey to the primary phase. Um, I knew that wouldn't make a lot of difference to the taste, but I just wanted to up the alcohol content. Um, I sat this in primary for four days. The recipe called for free before moving it to a secondary fermentation. Um, during that phase, I added 100 grams of honey extra and some dry hops. This has really improved the flavour of this beer. It gives it a real IPA twang. Um, it's an absolute lovely drop, especially now the weather is a lot hotter. And as I say, I've been a silly boy and I've only got one left. This was bottled on the 18th of the 2nd, 17, and smelt great, tasted pretty good at that early stage. I've tried it, as I say, numerous times, um, and a real, real good drop. I really like how I've transformed this, um, this, this beer from a London bitter into uh, a slightly citrusy IPA. Okay, now for the taste test. First things first, I'm going to release this. I have done it once already. So nice and slowly, remove the cap. I'm going to pour this in gently here. Okay, I'm not going to try to switch this down. Straight away, you can see this is very well carbonated, so I'm just going to pour it in nice and slow down. I'm not able to tilt the glass because I'm holding the foam in my other hand. Okay, a slight head on this. So I'm just gonna let that die down. And then I'll run you through the different flavors I can pick up and any changes I might make going Okay through. guys, so the head's now settled down. And as you can see, a lovely golden color to this beer. Uh, the bubbles on the, uh, on the head are nice and tight. So that means it was a good carbonation. It really is a, uh, a lovely looking beer. Clarity isn't bad as well. Uh, that's the thing I think I've struggled with the most during any of my home brews is to get that perfect clarity. I have improved them every time, but that is still something that I, I, I wanna further improve just to make the look of my beer even better. Now, in terms of smell, I can pick up the, the citrusy notes that come from the East Kent Goldings. Maybe a very faint smell of the honey I added. In terms of taste, it's got a good bitterness. That definitely comes through in this beer. And As I say, that hops really give it that IPA punch. It reminds me a bit of a, an American IPA, if I'm going to be totally honest with you. All in all, a very good beer. As I said, um, this is going to be a London bitter. I changed it slightly. It's amazing the difference dry hopping can make in terms of the flavours you pick up and the overall character of the beer. Guys, uh, this has been a great success. I look forward to doing my next video very soon. Cheers.